if you refer to your sheets, you can find that we have a typical anchor rod detail. This detail is showing that we need to have a 457 millimeter anchor rod that is going through our base plates. You can also see some more of the details for the anchor rods on sheet S5 or our column table. If you look at the base plate details on that sheet, you can see that it calls out the diameter for those rods for each of our base plates. I will show a couple different ways to add in our anchor rods. First, if we go to our members page, up top here, we can see that in our steel section, we have a couple different tools. If I open this drawer, we can see that we have our anchor rod tool, which would allow you to input multiple anchor rods at one time, or we have just our standard anchor rod right below that. To start off, I will go ahead and just choose the anchor rod tool. And I will zoom in on our column at A1. If we look at our status line down here, it wants us to pick a point. We could pick one of our holes in this case. And then it wants to pick wants us to pick our second point. In this case, since we're going in and out of our screen, we can just select the same point twice. And that will bring up our anchor rod member window. In here, we can specify some diff we can specify some different information like our anchor rod type if we want that to be straight hooked or stud we can change our anchor rod diameter what we want our piece mark prefix to be we can change our steel grade our sequence and then over here on the right we can come in here and specify our different lengths so we can specify what our overall length is Like I said before, our detail specifies that we need to have that to be 457 millimeters. And once I tab down to get to this next line, we can see that the colors of these fields changed to a pink color. And that is saying that these fields do not match up. So all of these different fields and lengths need to match up so that all of them look like the white color. And as you can see now, if we wanted to say OK to this window, it wouldn't allow us to say OK because these fields aren't correct. So going through these fields, our, th our thread length would need to be 76. And I can just hit tab to go to the next field. Our projection above base plate or our PT length would need to be 76 as well. Our projection above concrete would be 114 millimeters. Our base plate thickness is going to be 38. And then for our grout thickness, we're actually going to just type in 0. And then when I tab to this next field, you'll see that some of those fields will go back to the white color. And then last, lastly, we have our embed length. So this is going to be from the bottom of our base plate to the bottom of our anchor rod. And in our case, that distance is going to be 343 millimeters. And as soon as I tab out of here, we can see that all of our fields are now white. And then down at the bottom, we now have the ability to say OK to this window, which is what we want. Down below those thicknesses and lengths, we can specify if we want to change our top nut or our top washer and our intermediate nut and our intermediate washer. Below there, we can specify some different things about our rod, like our rod type, what our bottom washer is, and what our bottom nut is. And in this case, I will go ahead and just say OK to this window. And by using this tool, we can see that it just input in that one anchor rod. So what we could do in this case is we could copy this anchor rod that we put in here and copy it to our other hole locations. But there is an, another tool that is a little bit easier for adding in anchor rods. So for this instance, I'm going to go ahead and just escape out of that anchor rod tool. And I'm going to zoom out of my screen and I'm going to go over to a different column. In this case, I'll go to the grid line B1, the column that's right next to it. And I'll go back up to my members page in my steel section. And instead of choosing this regular anchor rod tool, I'm going to go ahead and open the drawer. 
and pick on the anchor rod tool. And what this allows us to do is add in multiple anchor rods at a time. Now our selection method could be either set to member, material, or we could choose by hole. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose by member. I'm just going to say OK to this window. And now what it wants us to do, if you look at our status line, it says select column to add anchor rod. So what we'd want to do is just select the entire column. And then we can right click anywhere off in space. And we can either hit enter to say OK. We could click on OK as well. Or if we wanted to click on cancel or hit escape on our keyboard, we could do so. In this case, I'm just going to say OK. And now it's going to bring us back to this anchor rod member screen with the same settings that we were just looking at. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill these fields out. So our overall length was 457. Our thread length was 76. Our projection above concrete is going to be 114. Our base plate thickness is already filled out for us. This isn't something that we can change because it's the tool is, is recognizing that value for us. Our grout thickness was 0. And then our embed was 343. I'm going to tab out of that. All of our fields are now good. And I'm not going to change anything about our top or bottom nuts or washers. I'm just going to go ahead and say OK to this window. And as you can see, it adds in all those anchor rods. Now it asks us if we want to add another group of anchor rods. If I said yes to this, it would bring up the multiple anchor rods window again, where we could say we want to pick by member again or by, or by material. In this case, I'm just going to cancel out. And what we can do now is if I hit shift on my keyboard, I can rotate around this column. And I can see that our anchor rods are now in place. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my layout page, and I'm going to open up our anchor bolt framing plan view. So if we wanted to do that for each individual member, we could go ahead and choose each individual member and go through and add in our anchor rods. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete this anchor rod out. And I'm going to delete these out as well. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go back to my members page. I'm going to select the anchor rod tool. My selection method is going to still be set to member. I'm going to say OK to this. And now if I wanted to, I can just highlight around all of my members that I have in my model. Right click and say OK. And now this is going to bring up the same screen, but as we can see, we are looking at anchor rod for 26 millimeter thick plates with piece marks of a BP3. So what we can do is we can go through and fill out these fields here. And once we say OK, it'll go to the next instance. So for example, what I'm going to do for this one for our overall length would be 457. Again, tab to the next field. Our overall length can be 76. And then if I hover over one of these fields, it says that the projection above base plate, our base plate thickness and grout thickness mud must add up to projection above concrete. So these three fields, our this one, our base plate thickness and our grout thickness must add up to our projection above concrete. So what I want to do here is I'm going to add for our projection above base plate, I'm going to type in 76 again. 
tab down to our projection above concrete. We will have 114. Our grout thickness would then need to be 12. And then our end bed length is going to be 343. And again, if I hover over this, it tells me that our projection above concrete and our end bed must add up to our overall length. So our end bed field, which is still pink, and our projection above concrete, which is still pink, needs to add up to be the total overall length. Now that that is correct, if I hit tab here, it will white out all those fields. And now I can say OK to this anchor rod for 26 millimeter thick plates with piece marks of base plates B P3. I don't want to change any top, bottom, nut information or washer information. So if I say OK here, then what it's going to do is it's going to bring me to our next instance. So this is anchor rod for 39 millimeter thick plates with a piece mark of a BP1. So in this case, I would have to go through and change all of these fields again. So I'll go ahead and change our overall length to 457. Our thread length can still be 76. And in this case, I'm going to change our projection above base plate. I'm going to change that to 75. Our projection above concrete can still be 114. And now, since our projection above base plate is at 75, our grout thickness can go to zero. And then our only lengths that need to add up is our embed and our projection above concrete to equal that overall length. In this case, that would be 343 millimeters. And if I tab out of that, I can go ahead and say OK to this. If I say OK to this window, it's going to go through and put those in. And then it's going to bring this up again. But this is for anchor rod for 20 millimeter thick plates with piece marks of a BP5. So again, I'm just going to run through this quick. It's 457, 76, 75, 114, 0 for our grout thickness, and then our 343 for embed length. So these are still pink because our base plate thickness has changed. So our either our projection above base plate or our grout thickness would have to change here in this case if we want our projection above concrete to stay the same. So in this case, if I would change this to 94, we would be okay here. So I can say okay to that window. And then at the very end, once we're done going through all of our anchor rod instances, it asks us if we want to add another group of anchor rods. In this case, we want to just say no. And now if we would take a look at all of our base plates, we can see we have anchor rods in there at all of our locations.